So what I would do is I would do two people to a microphone. But I didn't have any microphone stands. So I improvised with uh, the top of a thing of blank CDs and I put some weights in there. This has uh, D batteries that are probably really old in here. And I would just put in the microphone and let it sit. So that way it was at least angled in some direction. You didn't have to keep passing the microphone. It worked. I might want to get some stands later. But for now, I'm happy with this. I also, I didn't really ever do this, but you can make up easy pop guard which is sometimes you see those screens that are a little circle like right on top of the microphone that's to protect it from popping sounds like P's and B's what you can do is you can get a clothes hanger and you can stretch pantyhose over it and then place that over it and that can help you I don't really think that I need it with the amount of time I put into podcasting I don't really do it that much anymore so I don't really find a use for it so one of the good things about uh, splitting up people is that Sometimes I would have this one friend on and he talks pretty loudly. So every channel in here you can put it on its own sound. So I might bring up everybody else to about an 8 or something. And then I put him at a 5. So that way the sound sounds all even. He's not overpowering anybody. So what else I like about this is that it's really easy to connect up to a computer. So I have this two part cord here. It's a RCA cord and then there's an RCA to an eighth inch jack. And this you just plug here into the output. And this goes into your computer. Pretty simple. Now uh, if you want to get really technical with things, you might want a dedicated sound card for your computer. This is a really old sound blaster. It's got a 1997 written on it. I don't even think this will fit in a computer anymore the way that the card is. But uh, the side basically looks like every sound card. You have your line in, you have your microphone in, you have your speakers out, and I think you also have a MIDI adapter there, which is pretty interesting. And looking at this card, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it has you can hook it up to your PC speaker, your CD in from your computer. So these were pretty good at their time. I hear Sound Blaster is still a really good name, and it isn't too hard to find an older one that's still pretty good. I think I have one in my computer right now. Probably a little bit more recent, maybe like a 2003 or something that I got used. Works great. And then, so just to hook this up, you would put it into your line in, and that's how you would get the audio from this into your computer. If you're doing something like this, you of course use the microphone in, like that. I don't think this one's fitting right now for whatever reason, but that's what you would do. And uh, that's it. Podcasting on the cheap. I don't think anything here was more than 40 bucks. This might have been about 40, somewhere between 30 and 40. Salvaged microphone from an old karaoke machine. Really cheap microphones from a yard sale. Old sound blaster. I don't know where that came from. Just came with the computer. Recycled that. Six dollars for an adapter, 20 bucks for a headset. It all depends on what you want to do. That's podcasting on the cheap. That's all for episode one of Obsolete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any criticism, feedback, comments, questions, then feel free to email me or feel free to go to the IRC channel. All the information for that will be in the credits. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you again for the next one.